All right, so I have been working on a screen. Uh, well, I mean, I've had a screen recording script for a while that I'm using now. I've been working on a video editing script and also uploading my dot files. And so I'm going to talk about how I configure my um, system here. And then this video is going to be edited with the video editing script I'm working on. So a video about that will be coming out here before too long as well. But here we are at my dot files and this, it, it, the repo is just called OpenBSD. This will be in the description if you want to go and check it out. Now the repo here talks about how I'm, I'm using this on my ThinkPad. The readme here for the repo is essentially an entire guide of how I set up my system from scratch to be where it is. So I talk about configuring the base system. This is like right after you've installed OpenBSD. We set up Open, uh, set up do as, uh, disable the beep and touchpad because I have a ThinkPad. So I just want to use the track point, uh, and the buttons. So I, I don't want the touchpad. I'm actually moving my finger around on the touchpad. Nothing's moving. Uh, you can see I don't have a custom or nice cursor on here right now, but, um, eventually. Um, we set some kernel options, we set up power management, uh, increase the resource uh, limits, and add the user to staff. So again, you get, in, get the increased resource limits, improve disk performance, all of this stuff here. We, we go through it. Um, there's XenoDM. I haven't finished configuring it yet, so there's nothing here right now, but I will just go ahead and say, uh, as soon as I get it looking nice, you'll see something here. It shouldn't be too long, maybe a day or two. So, um, you know, if you're watching this down the line, there's a good chance not only this is filled out, but there's even more stuff on here. So, um, cause I'm still working on getting my ST DWM and all of that, uh, good stuff uploaded. And so some more of that stuff will be linked on here as well and talked about. But uh, the inspiration for this guide is actually this article over here. Uh, it's called OpenBSD on a Laptop. It was written in 2018, so it's a little out of date, but it is a very good article. And so that's that's where I got the inspiration for my idea for this. Um, cap screen, I link, I link it down here. I pretty much link anything kind of OpenBSD related in this. So I've got my screen and mic recording tool. It's very basic. Um, if, you know, if you've got a complex monitor set up or anything like that, it's probably not for you. But if you're running a laptop, it is very simple to use. You can use it with multiple different webcams and overlay your webcam just like I'm doing now. Maybe down the line it'll get even more improved, but right now I've stopped working on it just because it does exactly what I want. Um, well, so, uh, but maybe eventually down the line. I've also got my own customized Farfield Utilities um, repo, which is, you, you can find these when you're looking into the ST background image patch, which allows you to have pseudo transparency. Like when I go over here to this desktop uh, or works tag, workspace, whatever, and I load up a new window, you'll see, oh, uh, I have I have transparency and all these nice effects. But if I actually, let me just go over here and zoom this in a bit, a bit and go, where is PyCom? Nothing. Where is Compton? Just in case, you know, maybe I'm hiding that I've got a compositor running. Nope, no compositor. And it's simply because I like my system to be really, really slim. And this patch allows you to do some really cool effects without having a compositor. So uh, again, I, essentially all I'm doing right here is I have a background image and I'm using some of these utilities over here to create a blurred and a blended image with the color from my color scheme. So I take the background uh, color from my color scheme for my terminal and then I give it to, I've got a gen ST wallpaper script here, which takes in the picture I'm using as my wallpaper and then the hex code. And then you give it a blend ratio, like how, like essentially you could think of it as your transparency uh, value or float that you would normally have. And you just put it in there. Um, by the way, if you're hearing like a whole bunch of crunching in the background, I'm sorry, but buddy is going at it. I gave him an extra little bowl of food just because he's been a good, good dog today. Uh, he's put up with my crap. So yeah, that's what that is. Uh, 
Um, but yeah, it, this repo here gives you a guide of how to install it. I also wrote a build script for these. Uh, again, it is for OpenBSD, so if you're running Linux, you're probably going to have to modify it a little bit to get it to work. Um, it is uh, not meant for uh, Linux out of the gate. So yeah. And um, let's see, the last thing I have listed on here is my custom PyCom build. So if you do want to run PyCom, I do have a customized PyCom version. This is for OpenBSD as well. Uh, I did have an issue on here uh, where people for, like on Linux were trying to trying to build it, were having issues. So just so you know, it is changed and the guide here, like the instructions is changed for OpenBSD. So just keep that in mind. But uh, thank you for watching this. Um, oh, also, I, I did also want to say, if you want to check out the wallpaper that I'm using, uh, I grabbed it from this. If you just search OpenBSD wallpapers in any search engine, you'll get this GitHub link right here. It's a big repository of like AI generated OpenBSD wallpapers. Look, if you're an artist and you want to hit me up about like making a big repository of wallpapers, uh, I'll see what I can I can pay you to do that. But right now, there's just there's just not artists really making a whole bunch of really good, high quality, high resolution like OpenBSD wallpapers. So it's an AI link. I, I, it, it it is what it is. Okay, it's it's AI, but. Some of them are really good. I, I like this one. Um, it actually has some character to it. But um, yeah, you, you you get it. it it's good. But uh, yeah, if you want to see how I actually use OpenBSD and um, a good guide on getting everything set up, especially for a laptop, this is a really good place to go um, to get you started. So yeah, and I'm also editing this without an actual video editor. I'm, I'm editing this with like a script I've made. So let me know how the quality comes out. Hopefully it's a okay. We'll see though. All right. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.